Hi guys, this is Beth Boomer. Uh, I'm just walking after my run, so I thought I'd get on here and say a few words. Um, please subscribe to my channel, Beth Boomer. I sure would appreciate that. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm just starting out, so I'm not very far. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to talk about um, I'm going to run until the day I die. I have made that statement for years and years. I've been running now for 33 years. <clears throat> Started back when I joined the Cedar Falls Police Department and it was mandatory and I hated it. But needless to say, I now love it. Um, what I'm going to give you today is some tips on how do you run? for 33 years and until the day you die. Um, things do change over time, uh, but I'll tell you, there are some things you can do um, to kind of prolong your running career. One of them that I found is to run every day, or every other day, excuse me, every other day. I used to run a few days in a row, um, but I now run every other day. And that allows some good recovery time. Um, it works really, really uh, well for me. Um, the next one that I would say, uh, wear good shoes. Now, everybody has a very personal preference for shoes. I have tried many. Um, I did a... Uh, vlog on it a while back on running equipment and I will say again my favorite shoes are Hoka ones uh, Bondi now we're on model six I think they are the most cushioned uh, model of the Hoka lineup but I'm sure you know whatever you're looking for stability or whatever trail running you're gonna find the perfect shoe um, and I would start with Hoka. I've tried Nike, uh, Asics, um, let's see, Merzona or whatever that one is with the waves on the bottom of the shoe. And so many. Um, and I have now been in Hoka's for several years and I love them. I like the cushion. Um, I think I need the cushion for my joints uh, and so they work perfectly for me. I quit buying, I had uh, read in Runner's Magazine that it was a good idea to uh, buy inserts for your shoes because apparently that's the cheapest part of the shoe they say and uh, you'll get a better feel if you get inserts which are another 10 to $35 or more. I quit doing that when I started with Hoka's. I used to. I don't anymore. I don't have to. You put these shoes on and they're perfect right out of the box and they're perfect for a long time. Now I'm not a high mile runner um, and I do rotate my shoes among Hoka's. Uh, so, um, and they're all Hoka Bondies, but just different here. Um, models. So the mileage I put in, um, I can do that and they last quite a while. Uh, I would say too, when you have the opportunity, run on a little more forgiving surface, a little softer surface. Now I'm right now on a sidewalk, which is as hard as it can be, but when I'm on the road, um, even asphalt, is a little bit more forgiving but i try to run on the parking area which is grass or uh, dirt um, some of my route is dirt and it's like it's wonderful <laughs> it's a change and i think any change that you make when you're running works your body a little different way you know you're tilting a little different adjusting and um i think it's easier, much easier on your joints and just gives you an all around good run. And I know some people don't think of that 
And I know my husband's run for a long, long time. And he likes to run just on the streets because it's very level, which it is. And I found that I had to be careful when I got off the streets because if it's not entirely level, me being the graceful person that I am, trips. And I have fallen a number of times, tripping over a rock or a little clump of grass, or I think um, I've tried to figure that out as I've gotten older and I did have one knee surgery. I don't think I pick my feet up as far. I'm a very, I conserve energy when I run. Um, and I do short strides and I do lift my knees, but it doesn't seem like my feet make it very far off of the ground. So I do trip and I have to be careful, but I think it's very much worth it. Uh, I would say just accept as you get older that you might get slower. You probably will get slower and you might not run as far. Um, I used to run five miles, you know, when I go out to run. Somewhere I had read that 20 miles was the least you should do to really lose weight. Okay, first off, that's not really the reason to run. Just run for general fitness. Don't pay attention to that. Um, and as you get older, you decrease your miles, or I do. And, you know, I get a little slower. doesn't really matter. It's all in the name of fitness. It's all for better health. And it's so, so, um, what, mood lifting. I don't think there's an antidepressant that'll do as much for you as a good run or a good walk. Just being outside, good hike. Uh, it does wonders. Never ever run through an injury. Um, listen to your body and give it time to heal if need be. There's no shame in that. Take a little rest. Cross train if you have a way to do that. Swim, ride a bicycle. Uh, let your body heal. Because if you're in it for the long term, or the long run, like I am, uh, you want to preserve yourself so that you can continue to run and enjoy it. So that's it for today. Pretty short. Uh, I love to talk about running. It's just the greatest feeling there is. So if you like my channel, please, please subscribe. You can also hit the bell and get notifications. I upload every Monday and Thursday. So please subscribe and have a great day out there. Uh, stay away from anybody with any symptoms. <laughs> We're still in that uh, time. So, okay, take care. Bye-bye.